Hey church, great to be with you to share another of uh, my favourite verses and I really believe this could be a word for you today. He uh, is Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. The Bible says, I've seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favour to the learned, but time and chance happen to them all. Time and chance happen to them all. Everyone has time and chance. The ancient Greeks had two words for our word time. They had chronos and kairos. Chronos is what we might understand of time is the tick-tock time passing. It's seconds and minutes and hours and days and weeks and months and years. And the older we get, the quicker time seems to go. It seems to pass. It seems to slip through our fingers. We can never get hold of time because as much as we want to take a moment, and to enjoy today, time continually slips through our fingers. This Kronos seems to be more of a taskmaster and a, a nemesis than a friend. We, we can never get to grips with it. There's always something else ready, a deadline to meet us. And, and it can cause us to be panicked. And even in our lives, we measure so much of our lives through the lens of Kronos time. Oh, I've got to have achieved this by I'm 30 or 40 or 50 or and coming up to 60. And, and we tend to use these demarcate, demarcations of Kronos time to evaluate our success or otherwise. But in Ecclesiastes, the Hebrew lang language is not in this scripture speaking about the tick talk time that passes it's speaking about something different the ancient greek word would be the word kairos and kairos speaks about a unique time it speaks about an opportune moment something ready for us to take hold of and this is what the writer in ecclesiastes is getting at when he says time and chance happens to them all. The Greeks, kairos, opportune moments happen to everyone. Today, there is an opportune moment for you. Yeah, tick-tock time will happen today, but more importantly, there is a time, an opportunity, a chance, a moment that's been written in the book for you to step into today. I want you to think today, what is the time and chance that God is gifting me today? There is an opportunity for you to take hold of today. Jesus said the words that the time has come. He wasn't speaking about a, a, an hour, a, a month, a day. He was speaking about the opportunity for salvation has come today. There's a unique chance to take hold of something in your day to day. David took hold of his opportune moment when he was looking after sheep and he recognised there was a moment where everybody else was saying on the front line, I can't do it. David stepped up and he took hold of his kairos. He took hold of his moment of opportunity. Nehemiah did the same when he saw a city in despair and broken. And yet he recognised a God chance, a God time, a God moment for him to step up to the plate and rebuild a city. Esther took hold of her unique opportune moment when everybody else was backing away. The woman who had the issue of of blood she recognizes Jesus passed by uh, whatever time it is 12 years has passed and yet now's an opportune moment what is your opportune moment today there is one waiting for you it may be a unique 
chance in a conversation you have today. It could be an appointment that's been made in your Kronos time and yet what it represents is way more than just something in your calendar or diary. It represents a God moment. Take hold of the opportune time and chance that God has gifted you today. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 2 says, I tell you, now is the time of the Lord's favour. Now is the day of salvation. I'm speaking that over you audacious church today. Now is the unique opportune moment of God's favour for you today. God, I pray that you would bless every person today as we hear your word to us. We pray your word would breathe life and would open our eyes to see the unique time, chance and opportunity that you've gifted us today in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Such an honour to speak with you this morning. Have an incredible day. Make the most of your time, your chance and opportunity. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Love you.